It's yet another season, and William Salibar has started out as Arsenal's best defender, and frankly, one of the best defenders in the league. And you know what's crazy? He's just 22 years of age, but he's already dominating the league like a seasoned veteran. But those who don't watch him play might ask the question, how good is William Salibar really? Well, where do we start? From the beginning, I guess. But just before we get to that, just take a second to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. All done? Let's now get back to Salibar and how good he really is. This guy started playing football at 6 and was coached by his dad in Bondi where he was born. Yes, the same community where Kylian Mbappe grew up in. It seems that that town is great at producing stars. As a matter of fact, Salibar and Mbappe were even teammates at AS Bondi for 5 years between 2008 and 2013. Mbappe left in 2013 to join Monaco, then Salibar left a year later to join FC Montfermeil. Montfermeil was just a transitional club for him though, so much didn't happen here. He spent two years there and then moved to Saint-Étienne in 2016 at the age of 15. Salibar was so good at Saint-Étienne that he rose through the ranks very quickly. In 2018, at the age of 17, he was already putting pen to paper on his first ever contract as a professional footballer. His first game as a first-team footballer came in September 2018 when he was just 17 years old. He played against Toulouse in the French League 1 and helped Saint-Étienne secure a very vital win. He was so brilliant in that first game that he went on to make 12 more appearances for the club that season. Remember, this is just a teenage kid we're talking about here. After such a brilliant debut season in the top flight, Arsenal immediately came knocking. And without much delay, they signed 18-year-old Salibar in July 2019 for £27 million. £27 million and a five-year deal for a teenager who had had just one decent season playing top-flight football. Many thought Arsenal were being stupid and wasteful, but they just didn't see the vision. Arsenal clutched the potential and bought the dip immediately. They knew the boy was going to be a star, so they invested in him. But he didn't immediately move to London after the signing. He stayed back in France as Arsenal decided to immediately loan him back to Saint-Étienne to continue his rapid development. And the development was indeed rapid. He played more games in his loan season at Saint-Étienne, and this time, he was able to help the club reach the final of the Coupe de France in 2020. Now, I'm not saying anything here, but Saliba didn't play that final and Saint-Étienne ended up losing. Why didn't he play? Well, remember, the year was 2020. The season was suspended for some time, so the final was played after Salibar's loan deal with Saint-Étienne had expired. And with Salibar not on the team, Saint-Étienne lost. That's how good the boy is. When he returned to Arsenal in 2020, he was given the number 4 jersey. He featured in some pre-season games and was on the bench for the Community Shield game which Arsenal won, earning him his first trophy as a professional footballer. But it wasn't all rosy from there on. Arteta actually left him out of the competitive squad for the season, so Saliba was condemned to play with the under-23s. Damn. The gaffer would later come to really regret this decision. Anyway, after six months of playing for the under-23s, Saliba was then loaned out to Nice in January 2021. In his first month there, he was named the club's Player of the Month, proving to Arteta that he deserved better than being relegated to the youth team. At the end of the season, he left Nice and was loaned again, this time to Marseille. This time around, he was very ready for top football. He ended up playing 52 games for Marseille in all competitions that season, and it turned out to be his best season yet. He helped Marseille get to the semi-final of the Conference League and helped them finish second on the league table to secure Champions League football the following season. For all his efforts in the French top flight that season, William Salibar was named League One Young Player of the Year and was also named in the League One Team of the Year. If all this didn't convince you that Salibar is really good, then his return to Arsenal should certainly have done the job. After a truly mind-blowing season by all standards, everyone in Europe now wanted Salibar. Marseille, of course, wanted to keep him. A few other European clubs wanted to snatch him. But Arsenal was surely not letting him slip away again. As far as Arteta was concerned, the boy had finally become a man, so he called him back home. This time around, he was given the number 12 jersey, and he earned so much of the coach's trust during the preseason games that he was integrated into the first team instantly. 
William Saliba made his Arsenal debut on the first day of the 2022-23 Premier League season, and it was such a standout performance. The BBC said his performance was unruffled and virtually flawless. He was just 21. Yes, I always have to remind you of his age. Two weeks after that, he banged in a golazzo against Bournemouth. It was his first goal for Arsenal, and it was voted Arsenal's goal of the month. After just a couple of games, Salabar established himself as one of the first names on the Arsenal team sheet, and was already proving to be one of the best centre-backs in the league. He was one of Arsenal's most important players as he went on to have the best start to a Premier League season. But everything changed when he picked up a back injury in March 2023, and ironically, his absence emphasised the importance for the club even more. With Saliba sidelined due to injury, Arsenal were unable to find a worthy replacement, and they ended up struggling so much. This kid had played every single game for Arsenal before that injury, and they had already gotten so used to the cover he brought them back. But without him for the rest of the season, they were so exposed. They got knocked out of the Europa League and eventually lost the Premier League to Manchester City after dominating for so long. Want to know how good William Saliba really is? Listen to this. William Saliba featured in Arsenal's first 27 Premier League games of the season, and they won 21 of those games, keeping 12 clean sheets in the process. At this point, they were top of the table with literally just 11 games to go to clinch the title. Guess what? Out of those 11 games without Saliba, Arsenal were able to win just 5, keeping 2 clean sheets in the process, and ultimately dropping from the summit of the table. Honestly, it's not so crazy to say that Arsenal would have finished as Premier League champions if only Saliba was fit. That's something that can only be said of a world-class player. Now, look at it. William Saliba is back, and Arsenal are already back to winning ways. They beat Manchester City to win the Community Shield, his second trophy as a footballer, and he also helped the North London club win their two opening games of the Premier League, keeping one clean sheet and even assisting a goal. Thanks to his defensive stability, Arsenal are one of only three teams with a 100% record in the Premier League this season after two games. See, William Saliba is so good that, at 22, he's already drawing comparisons with Virgil van Dijk, who's 10 years older than him. He's so good that Arsenal has extended his contract even further until 2028 and have given him the number two shirt. But most importantly, he's so good that he makes crunching, game-saving tackles time and time again, and makes them look so easy. If Saliba manages to stay fit all season, how far do you think Arsenal can really go? Let me know what you think in the comments.